Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. Derek Heron. Back with another review for you guys. This is another in our line of Netflix reviews, and considering how they struck us, gave us a strike for Santa Clarita Diet, I don't think I'm going to be pulling up the, uh, the uh, videos anymore, so sorry about that, but we're still going to talk about it today. We're talking about the series Castlevania, a series in quotation marks in my opinion, because this was either a, a demonstration video that they broke up into four parts or a would-be movie that they broke into four parts like uh, it was four 22 minute episodes or so and uh, I thought you know seeing that going into it uh, having clicked on the first episode and seeing oh only four at about 22 minutes a piece I'm like this is probably just a movie an 80 minute movie that they di uh, you know diced up into four episodes for binge purposes because that does really well on Netflix. However, having watched it, I don't believe that that's the case because this would have not been a complete nor satisfying in any way movie. Uh, so that is to say my overall thoughts on this as we will follow our usual format is I was disappointed outside of the gore. I was very disappointed in this. Uh, and I'll explain why as we go. But Dirk, your overall thoughts? I, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I thought it was a, it was a, it was a good point to start off at. Uh, you know, especially with the anime, you know, it takes a while to get to uh, you know the story. Like usually, it's just kind of an introduction of the characters, and then and then you see where they go from there. So that's what it did for me. Even though it says that it's season one and it's only four. <laughs> episodes uh, yeah it, it, there wasn't much to it but at least you get to see where the characters are going so essentially the first episode introduces the big bad mm -hmm. uh, the second episode introduces your hero mm -hmm. uh, the third episode introduces your first sidekick and the fourth episode introduces the the second sidekick right. uh, that eventually form a trio that if you're familiar with the games you're familiar with mm -hmm. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it makes for a very uh, wholly unsatisfying series because there's no resolution. The whole thing is build up. The whole thing is is build up and not interesting build up. Although, I I did I kind of liked. Okay, so the first episode you find out about Dracula, right? And his backstory, which you start off with this woman who basically invades his castle. And uh, he shows up and is like, who are you? You know, what are you doing here? And she's just like, essentially, she's like, oh, you don't scare me. You know, I, I, I don't believe the stories or whatnot. And, and, it, and she tames him very quickly. Within like the first couple of minutes, he's, he's, ta he's like... Well, I think that it's just, it's just been years since he's really interacted with anyone. And so for her to be so confident and, 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 and her thirst for knowledge... And, and, and what she's heard from him is that, like, yeah, he is kind of like, you know, either this monster or, you know, he, like this wizard in a sense. And so, like, she, she's on a quest for science mm -hmm. and, and thinks that maybe he can help out. And, you know, she, he's willing to help her out. So, so, so very rapidly, uh, we then flash forward a little bit of longer time. Like, a, it's not a year, right? It's No, it's actually... Uh, 20 years 20 years that they're passed. together right yeah. uh, and so but but as soon as we flash forward we cut to the a, a town uh, or a village burning her at the stake right uh, because she mentions in the meeting with Dracula that some people consider her a witch because right. of her science right uh, and so she's a doctor she's a doctor yeah and so they burn her at the stake I guess 20 years later and then Dracula's face shows up in the flames, which was right. kind of cool. Yeah. Saying like, what have you done? You know, like all this stuff. And he says, but he curses them and he says, one year from now, you better be gone or I'm going to lay waste to all of you and right. your village. Right. And it's like, that's so weird. Like, why would Dracula waste his time waiting? But I guess it turns well, out he wants to raise his army. Yeah, yes. It, it, he even explains it, that like he, it's going to take a year for him to conjure up uh, like these demons mm -hmm. and everything, so he's basically gonna like just eradicate this this town, this mm -hmm. village, or or the, this country, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and so he, he gives them a year to get out of there, but like you know, uh, the church and its people are are so confident 
in themselves that they just they, they blow it off. They're just like whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, they seem scared at first, but what? there they are a year later. Yeah. But they're but a year later they're celebrating the fact that the church stood up to this evil thing. Yeah. <laughs> and so when Dracula shows up again, he's like, not only did you not heed my advice, but you're celebrating <laughs> the, the fact that my, you killed my, my, be my beloved. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so he unleashes his hordes and they start killing. And this is where I was like, okay, this series might be badass because the hordes like really maim the shit out of these people oh, like they they're just ripping body parts there's and, like, gore everywhere there's raining blood torsos and, and appendages <laughs> and everything and i'm like yeah bitch, i, I love yeah. that how there was like these like demon fetuses like raining down and then they like just grow up really fast yeah and start killing everybody oh, man it was so cool i was like <laughs> hell yeah and the animation style i have to say the thing i can liken it to the most is the spawn uh, late 90s HBO show. It, that's exactly yeah. what it, it looks it like. It's very stiff. Only the mouths move at parts. Well, that's but then the, But then the action and the gore is all there. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, it's so reminiscent of the Spawn series, yeah. which I loved, yeah. which is why I'm disappointed that this ended up being such a pale comparison. Eh. After the first episode, I in my opinion, it went downhill. You, so the second episode, we were then introduced to Trevor Belmont in a full... 22 minute episode of a show there are three scenes three and the majority of the first one <laughs> is in a bar where you're listening to the the ridiculous patter between two locals while belmont hides in the background this whole scene takes like 15 minutes where he eventually like beats them up but it's 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 so like Lackluster, like I it's think. Such I a thought bummer. it was. I thought it was hilarious. Ugh. I thought their banter. You was really great. didn't think it took too I, long, I, dude. They're talking about how some guy got on their farm, fucked one of their sheep, and then like they're talking about how they got in trouble for beating the shit out of this guy, and then then they like talk about the demons and what what's going on, where like all these like towns are starting to be taken you, over by you these. Could have cut out the sheep fucking stuff. And I thought saved that was hilarious. Like, well. I think that's what they're trying to get across is there's quite a bit of humor in this show. And and once you're introduced to Trevor Belmont, because, uh, you know, they're kind of giving the backstory. The drunken monster slayer, essentially. Well, yeah, the, the Belmonts uh, were exiled because they they cast spells. They're, they're, well, they they're fought considered, evil their whole lives. Yeah, and they're considered uh, They're considered consorting with evil, even though they've been fighting them their whole right. lives. Right, and so, yeah, so a drunken Trevor Belmont kind of like... Uh, Stands up and, and is just, he just tries to get another drink and leave. Right. But they notice that he he's wearing uh, the crest, the crest of the Belmonts, and so I don't know. I thought that was a really funny fight sequence. It just took too long though. But to get but to but you and... got to like uh, like feel his uh, his personality, his character, like. He kind of remind me a lot of Jack Sparrow, like because he's like the, kind of this drunken hero. Yeah, I could see that anti-hero in, in in a sense. And uh, I just I just want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I just want my drink. Uh, you know, like here's all this money. Just give me my drink, and I'll go pass out somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. I thought so it was I'm really just funny. Go find a tree and I loved it how they just kept kicking him in the balls. <laughs> that was hilarious. What, really was it though? I oh, thought I geez. dude, I was I was laughing out loud the, like the whole time. Especially the the sheep fucking. That was hilarious. Oh, man, that didn't get me at all. I, I felt it was trying too hard. Uh, I, I don't thought know, it was man. really trying too hard. I don't know. Uh, did you know that Warren Ellis wrote this? I did, and that's the problem. Like I know how talented that dude is, and yeah. this does not seem like this this whole thing would have been one or two issues of a Warren Ellis comic. There's no way that they would have stretched this out this much. Like, there's no way. They, they've taken so much time uh, to do this. I, I don't know. It's just, it's such a bummer. And then the third episode, you go ahead, take over. The third episode has to do with the... Well, basically, like, after the fight, then he ends up going to this town. And, and, and they, they recognize who he is. Mm -hmm. They take him uh, to this cardinal who was a part of, like, burning... Uh, he was the leader of it. Yeah, he was the leader that actually uh, burned uh, Dracula's wife, and he he he's like, I know who you are, blah blah blah. Uh, you know, your whole family's been exiled. You shouldn't be here. We should kill you right now. But what we want you to do is we want you to like uh, hunt down these uh, these clerics that have sworn against 
the church, <coughs> and uh, we want them all dead. If you help us out, then we'll we'll forget that uh, you're even here. So basically, what he does is he just goes and he meets up with those clerics, and he's mm-hmm. just like, "Hey, they want you fucking dead. So uh, you guys gotta get out of here." And then they're like, "We're not leaving." <coughs> well, the leader's like, "I'm not leaving without my daughter." Right. And then that's what the third episode's all about is that him having to find the daughter so that he can get these clerics out of there. So Trevor Belmont goes down below the city uh, to, to hunt for this girl. Right. And he finds out that there's this, there's a, there's this been story, that's this ongoing story, that uh, there's this sleeping hero mm-hmm. that will someday come and save the day right. if, if need be. And so she went looking for him, mm-hmm. and then... Uh, what we we find out is that there's this cyclops that's underneath uh, the city, and whoever you know gazes at its eye like turns to stone. Mm-hmm. And so she had been turned to stone. So Trevor ends up fighting the, the cyclops, kills him. After the cyclops is killed, everybody that was turned, turned to stone turned come, back. Come, come, comes back. So so the girl's just like she didn't realize what happened. Mm-hmm. And uh, and so he's just like, all right, you need to come with me. I'm gonna get you and your your follower, you, you know, your friends and your and your father out of this town. They all want you dead. She's like, no, I'm going to stand up mm-hmm. to the church because uh, no one else will. And so basically, it comes down to like them having to fight, like all the the, the soldiers that um, support the church, and. Um, and then at one point, like in the fourth uh, episode, mm-hmm. they end up kind of going back down, uh, actually further down than they uh, were when they met up with the Cyclops, mm-hmm. and then they find the Sleeping Hero. Right. And you end up finding out that it's uh, Dracula's son. Son, Alucard. Alucard, mm-hmm. yeah. And, uh, and, you know, Trevor ends up fighting him. Uh, that was Al- actually a pretty fun fight. Yeah. And uh, Al. Alucard respects him because he's actually a really good, uh, you know, uh, soldier, you know, fighter. Mm-hmm. So, and then realizes that, like, you know, their quest is is to, uh, you know, take down Dracula. Mm-hmm. Well, that's more his quest, but th- they were just like they kind of fall into it, right? Because they they, af- they realize that you know everything is going to be destroyed by mm-hmm. these demons and stuff, and so the only one that can uh, stop it. Is if they uh, take down Dracula. Mm-hmm. So, and then that's that's basically the end of uh, season one. Of season one, and, and and you know, actually looking back at it during this review, it's like, okay, well, this is clearly just the origin of the trio that's going to fight Dracula's hordes in right. this in the next season, which is now double the length of the first season. It's going to be eight episodes instead of four. Okay, good. So um, that means they're going to be able to devote more time to it, more time to character development, I hope, less time to stupid bar fight bullshit. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, it's there was definitely stuff to be appreciated. Again, especially the action and the gore. I really like that. Did not like Trevor's characterization. I thought the chick was okay, and I really like Alucard, so I'm interested to see where it goes from here. But, man, to me, this was a rocky start. A rocky <laughs> start. Uh, I don't even I remember the, uh, the, the the music, really. Uh, no. Very much. I, you know, like, I, I, you know, it was just more, like, ominous tones and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And and I that, that was kind of, like, a bummer because I heard that, like, there was, like, um, some takes on, like, kind of the, the video game music. And, really? And, and I didn't really hear it, but... I don't know. Maybe they just changed it so much that I I couldn't even didn't register. It. Yeah, yeah. I didn't recognize it. But so I don't know. I I, I enjoyed it. it. It was just a start. Like you're not getting much. But I'm I'm interested in seeing the second season. Me I'm too. Me too. But I'm still judging this based on what it was, which was unsatisfying. Yet <laughs> a little bit better when you reflect on it. Just a little bit. It's a little bit better, but it's not. It's still not great. So anyway, um, I guess if I had to grade it, let's go ahead and grade this one because I've been flip-flopping a little bit. Um, I would say if I had to give it a grade out of 10, I would give it um, probably five vampire fangs out of 10. I'd give it eight. Eight? Eight out of 10. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. More forgiving than I am. 
you're. I liked yeah. all the characters. What can I say? And I even I, I liked Dracula. I thought that was an interesting start for him as well. So. Well, I'm know. encouraged by the gore to know that they're that they are willing to go for it in this universe. Yeah. So okay. I'm happy about that. So yes, let us know in the comments down below if you have either seen this. What did you think? If you haven't. Does this make you more or less likely to watch it? I'd be very curious what you guys think, considering, uh, you know, we've got two sides of the coin here, essentially. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments down below how you're feeling. But until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Derek Heron. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.